my own conversion to Islam um, many years ago prompted me to try to eradicate some of the misconceptions that I knew I had as somebody who was previously unfamiliar with Islam with other people who might be in the same position that I was before. I've been working very closely with Dr. Gail Tate of the Africana Studies Department. She has encouraged me to kind of formalize a lot of what I've been doing and to put some things in writing. We know that Islam has kind of been with America from the beginning of the American story. And so it's very important, I think, for people to understand that it wasn't just something that showed up on our shores on September 11, 2001. I think for most people, there's a perception that Islam is somehow from somewhere else. It's not something that's anti-American or outside of the American experience. It's very much a part of who we are as Americans. I don't think most people really understand that Islam has a very long history that goes back to the founding of this country um, from the very beginning. Researchers have indicated that from 15 to 20 percent of the slaves that were brought over from Africa were Muslim. I've been working for various Muslim nonprofits for 10 years or more. Um, I've worked you know, with the Muslim community locally, nationally. I frequently run across people who ask me where I'm from. You know, and, and the, you know, I'm American is always like, well, no, but where are you really from? Where are your parents from? My family goes back in this country at least to 1794. So, you know, it's, it's but, but there's a misconception that I must be from somewhere else. In terms of the African American experience, Islam actually is fairly significant. It is the largest religious group after Christianity in the, in the African American community. Certainly many major figures that or associated with the African American experience are well known to be Muslims, Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The first and only Muslim Americans elected to Congress are both African Americans. Islam is very much a part of the African American experience as well and it really hasn't been told, that story hasn't really been told in a satisfactory way.